The Seventy Weeks of Daniel 9 and the Day-Year Principle, Part 2. We left off in our last video with Yeshua being anointed at his baptism at 27 AD, which marked the end of the 69th week. And now we start off this video with the final 70th week. Daniel 9, verse 26. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. Verse 26 says that sometime after the 69th week, the Messiah would then be cut off. This happened at the cross, when Yeshua took away the need for annual sacrifices for sins by being the one sacrifice for all time. Hebrews 9.28 So Christ also, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time for salvation without reference to sin, to those who eagerly await him. Verse 27 and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. So we see that it says in the midst of the final week, which is the halfway mark of the final 70th week. So we count from 27 AD three and a half years, which is the total amount of years that Yeshua had his earthly ministry. Then in the midst of the week he gets crucified, and the final three and a half years of the final week is the beginning of the Great Commission, the spreading of the gospel to both Jews and Gentiles. And this brings us to the end of the 70-week prophecy in Daniel 9, and it ends by the first century. After the completion of the 70 weeks, we go back to look at verse 26. It mentions the people of the coming prince, which is the Roman army, which did destroy the city and the sanctuary. Verse 27 says, that it is for the overspreading of abominations that this will be done. This is both for the abominable acts committed against the Messiah and his servants, as well as the abominable things done within the temple in the years leading up to its eventual destruction. Daniel 9.26 And the people of the prince, the Roman army and its leader, that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, or otherwise known as wiping out of a city and its people. Daniel 9.27 And unto the end of the war desolations are determined, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. This is confirmed in the parable given by Yeshua in Matthew 22, verse 6 through 7, which speaks of the Roman army destroying Jerusalem, after they have persecuted and killed Yeshua's followers. And the remnant took his servants, and entreated them spitefully, and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. And he sent forth his armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. This concludes the 70-week study of Daniel 9, and the biblical historicist's interpretation with the use of the day-year principle. Be cautious not to fall for any futurist time gap teachings of the 70th week yet to be fulfilled in the future. It's a Catholic Jesuit teaching made to distract the readers from sound doctrine. Please leave a like and comment below if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.